Supporting local farmers and agriculture, that's what Kamehameha Schools continues to do, and that includes a cash prize for the best business plan. It's called Mahiai Scale Up. Joining us now with more is Kael Duart, Vice President of Community and Aina Resiliency for Kamehameha Schools. Good morning to you, Kael. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Now, Kamehameha Schools, it's known in the community for education, but can you tell me more about the school's role in agriculture and supporting local farmers? Yes, and Kamehameha Schools, as an education institution, we believe in educating Native Hawaiians um, towards overall well-being of people and place. And for, as a Native Hawaiian institution, you really can't talk about education without talking about Aina. It's fundamental to Native Hawaiian identity, it's critical to how we acquire and how we apply knowledge. So it goes hand in hand. And luckily, our founder, Kelly Poa, he blessed us with a large portfolio of a large legacy of Aina, really, over half of which is in, in agriculture, about 68,000 acres in production, about 18 million pounds of different food products being produced every year. So Kamehameha Schools is very invested in agriculture, both from a mission perspective for careers and jobs, as well as just productive use of this you know, wonderful portfolio of Aina that our founder left us with. And supporting local agriculture is so important. And you're doing that through Mahi I Scale Up. Can you explain what that is? Yes. Well, maybe start, starting back in 2014 when we started the Mahi I Match Up Contest, at that time, we're going through a process of repositioning former plantation lands into diversified agriculture. And we're finding it difficult to actually find new farmers. So at that time, we started the contest, which awarded a, a, la, a commitment school's land lease and some startup cash in a way to attract new farmers. Um, and we've expanded to Mahiai Scale Up, which, as the name alludes to, is focused on scaling up existing operations. And what's new about this year's competition? This year, um, again, it's scaled up, so we're focusing on existing enterprises or businesses. What's also new is, especially in light of the current COVID pandemic, we're, we're, we've broadened the contest to not just be focused on the production or farming end of things, but also to other aspects of the food system more broad, broadly speaking, such as distributors, aggregators, um, processors, if you will, kind of both the, the, the growers and the gatherer parts of the food system. So we've broadened the contest scope. And we've also added um, two great partners who are going to help us this year, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement and the Kohala Center, who are going to help with business um, support and wraparound supports for the final contestants. So we're really excited to have CNHA um, and Kohala Center, as well as Ulupono support for this year's contest. And how can someone apply for this contest, and, and what's the deadline? The deadline is February 12th. It's open now, so go for it. Um, you can go on our website, um, ksb.edu slash mahiai, and all the details will be there. Um, and there's also an email on that website if you want to reach out for more information, both as a contestant and the cash prizes, um, starting about 50000 to give out to various businesses. We are looking for more sponsors to make the, the cash prizes even sweeter. So if you're also interested in sponsorship, reach out on that website also. Yeah, so important not only for farmers, but to find sponsors and to find those in the community that will help support our local ag and local farmers. Kael Duart from Kamehameha Schools, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Mahalo, thank you.